Aye, and once you're done in the kitchen, go and clean up the cellar. The spiders have made a nest down there. A big one, too. They're crawling everywhere. Uh, Master David, nice of you to grace us with your presence. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. Mother was never a fan of dishes made from entrails. In this case, she'd be missing out. I shot the deer myself, in the local woods. That was delicious. Thank you. I'm sure our local specialities must seem peculiar to one raised as you were. I was raised in India. My spectrum of peculiar has quite a range. Who would tear up photographs, given the painstaking process surrounding their creation? Yes, Master David? You've worked for the family all your life. Yes, Master David. Save my time serving in Swaziland. You served in South Africa? Oh, indeed, sir. During the Boer War. But Sir Edward intervened and I was able to return unharmed from that most futile conflict. May I ask, the maid, she seems nervous, almost afraid of me. She's afraid of everything. You don't think much of her? I do not, sir. And, if I may be so bold, one of Lady Gordon's earrings has gone missing. You suspect the maid? Not my place to say, Master David. Yet I think you just did say. Uh, how many staff are there? Nowadays, only myself, the maid, and Rory the gardener. I suppose you could include the lawyer, too, if that is work. Not many for such a big house. If you felt like hiring more staff, I would not complain, sir. But of course, not everyone is suited to work in this house. Well, good day to you. Indeed, sir. Elsa knows more about my father than she dares tell me. I'd better earn her trust now. She might return to the village once the weather clears. Smoking a pipe? I thought that would be beneath her station. Just how old is the Gordon clan? For all I know, it could stretch back to Roman times or even further. Locked. 
Lady Margaret. David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soon is mended. I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. Uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome, and caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs? All was so very different when he was around. The maid. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. Curse? What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. This is his doing. What? But, but how? I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Oh, and David. The master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. A cabinet? I am i don't know what you mean. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know anything about it. I see. Never mind, then. Maybe you want to have something to ask her about. A sign of modernity, even in ancient houses like this.
This will make it easier to carry. The boy. It must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the bag. My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. Lady Margaret. She looks happy. I can't imagine her smiling like that these days. The boy. How did he provoke Edward into throwing him down the stairs? <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in... blood? Regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions are like nothing I've ever experienced before, and they're getting worse. An impressive collection. Grandmother's obviously a music lover. <laughs> 